Hello, and welcome to another episode of Sweet Sounds ASMR with Laura. Uh, today I'm very excited because I decided to uh, pre-Christmas gift myself, and my gift arrived today. Uh, as you may know, I am a huge Star Wars fan, and I actually really enjoy the dark characters, the evil characters. Um, Darth Maul is one of my favorites, uh, but when it comes to going to conventions and doing cosplays, I typically will dress up as Darth Talon. Darth Talon is a Sith Twi'lek, and she is a really neat character. I hope that Star Wars is going to bring her into uh, some of the little side stories here coming up soon. We'll see, fingers crossed. Um, but if you're a huge Star Wars nerd like I am, you'll know who Darth Talon is. So what I decided to give myself is the Star Wars Legacy, the future of Star Wars. This is a comic where Darth Talon, sorry about the glare, Darth Talon shows up. So that is the character. And yes, I do paint myself all red and black and uh, have Darth Talon's real lightsaber. It's actually a dual worthy from Saber Forge lightsaber. And I absolutely love dressing up as this character. It's so fun. And you can really see the other nerds um, at these conventions because they know who you are. Uh, the rest uh, are not quite sure who this character is, which is always a lot of fun. Still open this up. this out. I haven't brought it out yet since I got it. So, add the cardboard backing here. So just a piece of cardboard. Keep it nice. Now I have 
the actual comic book. I'm so excited. The future of Star Wars, Star Wars Legacy. Welcome to the future. A couple spoiler alerts. So if you don't know Star Wars, you might not want to hear any more of this. After the deaths of Palpatine and Vader, Luke Skywalker's new Jedi Order became the agent of peace in the galaxy. The remnant of the Empire made peace with the New Republic. But peace was shattered by the invasion of the extragalactic Yuuzhan Kong. The Republic fell, but was replaced by a galactic alliance, which allied itself with the Imperial Remnant and others to defeat the alien invaders. Peace was restored, and the Imperial Remnant once more proclaimed itself the Empire, but with a more benign Emperor on the throne. Meanwhile, a new Sith Order was secretly forming on the planet of Korriban, infusing themselves with the dark knowledge found in the ancient Sith temples there, honing a plan to retake the galaxy. All that remained in their way were the Jedi, especially the one named Skywalker. Just got chills. I'm so excited. So let's see what's inside. Oh, I just read. about the Jedi Academy. This has a bit about some of the characters. Cade Skywalker, Cole Skywalker. Has some of their weaponry and such. So, let's see. Then we have some of the bounty hunters and the Jedi. And it shows some of their weaponry as well. So we have the gold plaster. Let's see. And let's see Deliah Blue. Drya Sin. And then on the Jedi side we had Rasi Tum, the Shadow Val, Wolf Sazen, and Kosk Trellis. would be a fun cosplay as well. Well, Coruscant tells you all about part of Star Wars that is, of course, an integral component. I have not looked at this yet, and I am so excited. <laughs> so, Coruscant, uh, as it reads, the seat of government for the Old Republic, the Empire, and the New Republic. So, as I stated, an integral space um, within the Star Wars universe. Uh, and then the Underworld. Oh, so many good cosplays here. We have Queen Jewel and Finn different fit from the newer Star Wars, just so you know. Uh, Naxi Skrieger. Oh, man. We have Rav and Ki. Atatakos and Machak. Looks similar, of course, to some of the more known characters, but these are some slightly different individuals. of her existence is to execute Crate's will. Talon's tattoos were earned in ritual combat and inscribed by Crate himself. So it talks about some of the other Sith and of course about Darth Crate. And I'll read a little bit about him because that is important to Darth Talon's world. So Darth Crate was an ancient and deadly Darth uh, Sith well, not exactly a Sith, but he was uh, ancient and deadly. Darth Krayt, um, he created a Sith Order, 
uh, that is fully immersed in the dark side. For over a hundred years, great Sith have hidden on the planet Korriban, using the miasma of the dark side that permeates the planet to conceal themselves. The rule of two is gone, banished by the Sith's new leaders. The rule of two, there were always um, two Sith. Uh, there was always the uh, Padawan, so to say, and then the full Sith who was training. Now there's only one, the Sith Order itself. Let's see, let's see crate over on this side. Talon over here. Oh, then we have about the Empire. So we have the Imperial Knights. It shows some of their weaponry as well, the Imperial Knight lightsaber. This lightsaber is a symbol of their unity and of how the individual self is less than the empire they serve. The Imperial Knights all use the lightsabers of the same design. They have a bit more about uh, some of the ships, the destroyers, the Peleon class superstar destroyer, and then they go into uh, those who piloted the Imperial pilots as well. They talk about the Predator, uh, that's a class fighter. <laughs> so much more to the Star Wars universe than most people know about. And it goes into the Imperials themselves. Conrad Rose. Morlish Speed. And it expresses uh, some of the objectives of the Imperial mission as well. Most of you probably recognize this symbol too. At least those who watch any of the Star Wars films, more than likely. It's very well known. <laughs> and then it goes into some more details about some of the ships and the fighters. So neat to learn about. There's so much in the Star Wars universe. It is so vast. I absolutely love learning more. I'm a super fan, but there's still plenty in here that I don't know enough about as well. I'm so excited. Then it goes into a bit of a breakdown of the storm st stormtroopers. Excuse me. Talks about some of their armor and their helmets. I don't see any indication as to why they cannot seem to shoot a target they aim for. And then it talks a little bit about Dark Horse Comics. I'm so excited to read more of this and to really get into um, all the little details that even I uh, don't know enough about just yet.
such an amazing character. I hope you enjoyed exploring that as much as I did.